complete the Camino Frances from Astorga to Santiago, check. With Camino goals accomplished, we pay our respects at the cathedral and join the queue to see the crypt of St. James. We take one last look at the festivities surrounding other pilgrims' accomplishments. But we can't linger too long because we have a bus to catch. Back to Madrid we go. We make our way to our cute little apartment close to the historic center. Our cute little kitchen. The aerial map of Madrid on the wall of our apartment was a good idea because it gave us our bearings when we took off to do our sightseeing. We were able to run away with Liz as she led us on a Rick Steves walking tour of Madrid. We're going to start our Rick Steves tour. Plaza Mayor is a cobbled square that dates back to Madrid's glory days, the 1600s. Back then, this was Madrid's main square. The equestrian statue honors Philip III, who made this square the centerpiece of the capital in 1619. For some Andalou ambiance and lots of fascinating, if gruesome, bullfighting lore, step inside. The bar interior is a temple to bullfighting with gory decor. We pop into the Mercado de San Miguel, a historic structure from 1916 that stands on the site of an even earlier marketplace. You could find just about anything you desire from fresh fish, gazpacho, tapas, wines, beers, sherries, you name it, it's there. We're off to get the dulces from the nuns, from the sequestered nuns. What's the matter? They don't sell sweets until September. Oh, they took summer off. <laughs> Captain Tony. <laughs> 
The vertical living wall was installed by Patrick Blanc in Madrid. The gardens are fed with water from the roof, making for a self-sufficient system. Time to take a break and enjoy some delicious churros. Here's the line. What do you think? I think it's a new way to eat waffles. Calle <laughs> de Fuen Carral, where the high end shops are. La Casa del Abuelo was featured in the show Somebody Feed Phil. So, of course, we had to try it too. Our little apartment was perfect to fix quick lunches or a do-it-yourself happy hour. Here's our bags ready to head home. You're gonna watch the movie. It's been a good trip. It's been an awesome trip. Yeah, that's my thought. Tony's take. That's oh, it. Tony's, Tony's take. take. Yes. Yeah, so my take is. It was a really fun time. Uh, we got to see rural Spain, rural Galicia. We got to see Madrid. It was a blast. And that's my thought of the day, which is really a thought about the whole trip. <laughs> there you go. I had a great time on this trip, and I'm excited to go home. And I'm, I pretty much reiterate everything Tony said. Angela. Angela. I echo Tony's sentiments. Uh, Excited to get home, see the puppies, and shout out to Nikki for picking us up. <laughs> Go Nikki! <laughs> we are so thankful for Nikki. Ditto. <laughs> Adios, Spain. Hasta luego. Home sweet home. Sweet.